What is up, bro gamers? Welcome to the Union versus Confederacy in Supreme Mod 2020. The only uh, what is it game that includes the mod? Of course, there's not a lot of mods for those Supreme Mod Supreme Mod games, especially Ultimate. So I had to go back to the Confederate States in 2020. I have done the Confederacy versus the Union before, way back a long time ago, and I think I succeeded. Yeah, I did. Uh, I named it Best Supreme Ruler uh, versus something like that, but I did succeed on taking the Union. As you can see, the capital city of the Union is still in Washington, D.C. And uh, the Confederacy, New Orleans, not Richmond, but it's actually New Orleans, Louisiana. And uh, I know that the Confederacy, and I did the same thing as well, is going to send all of their units to <laughs> the capital city. Washington just because you know it's right there and all you have to do is just deploy as many units as you can and just send them straight into Washington but of course you're gonna you know get a lot of retaliation and defense from the Union troops all around the uh, neighboring cities and towns here as you can see around Washington so that's gonna be a pain for the Confederacy but what I'm gonna do is probably just to get their attention here deploy most of my units around DC and then uh, what is some of the other units around the US that are on the Union I'm just gonna send to random towns and cities and try to take those and head straight for New Orleans because again that's where the capital is so that is the plan and yes I'm still sick sadly I had to get sick right before the con I, I, I still can't get over that like why couldn't it have been last week or next week you know right after the con it had to be the week of con anime con it, it, that sucks man it pisses me off so i'm trying my best to you know get myself together pull myself together uh drinking a lot of nyquil you know eating oranges and whatnot for tomorrow because i head out tomorrow around 12 p.m and uh, i think i'm gonna call off again <laughs> i'm not in the mood i don't feel like going to work tomorrow as well and i know they call me lazy or whatnot but i just you know i just want to get myself together for tomorrow you know try to try to get the sickness at least you know down to a minimum for tomorrow's con so that way I can feel a little better you know I just don't want to go to work you know feeling all tired and fatigued and whatnot so that's the plan and uh, did I deploy my units already this is deployed 560 so where are they what's going on I'm at DEFCON 1 right now by the way oh there we go there they are all right, I put seven garrisons all around my neighboring cities here, including DC. So let's see how this goes. Actually, let's try to uh, attack Alexandria first, and then these guys can head for. Yeah, let's do that. I'm not going to use all my units yet, though. I'm going to try to save as many as I can here. As for my air units, I'm gonna save those actually. But we'll see how this goes, guys. Uh, I also did play as a Union versus Confederacy, actually. I just remember that. But it was on Twitch, though. It was a stream instead of a YouTube video. And uh, I did upload a aftermath part, but it was only like a four or five minute video, and I already enacted Confederacy in that stream so I might as well just redo it in its full glory you know full YouTube video and just you know, again go to YouTube for those that are wondering you know what happens six unit kills 28 that's not looking good for me actually all right you know what let us send our full force to protect DC because right now that's not looking good Confederacy is pushing right now. As you can see. Let's grab these guys here and bring them over here. I'm trying to surround my units. Oh, holy crap. Oh my. Alright, you know what? We're gonna have to attack them over here. Because it looks like they're trying to, uh, again, surround neighboring cities in Washington. 11 unit kills? Dude, what's going on? What in the world? Well, Lebanon has been eliminated, as you can see right there. Come on, troops. Get 
get yourselves together, what's going on? 24, 25, man, I'm losing quite a couple of units here, actually, to be honest. Air units, let's deploy them all now. Deploy. Alright, let's do that. Bring them over here. Where's the Confederacy? That's my troops. Confederacy. Let's do that. What? My blue units are all the way down over there. They actually just pushed. That's not what I wanted to see. Get out of there, guys. Get out, get out, get out, get out. There we go. I've lost 100 units. This is not good. Maybe I won't get the chance to go through the war. It's because the Confederacy is actually pushing in. I really can't tell what the hell's going on. Running out of units, man. Not good. And I got my units stuck and surrounded over there again. How the hell did that happen? Come on now. They won't let me out. I'm trying to get them out, but they won't let me. We're at Arlington. Hey, we took Arlington. Let's we took Alexander as well. I think. Nah, there's no control of Alexandria. As you can see, there's chaos at the border there <laughs> between Maryland and Virginia. Peace by the Confederacy. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. Because right now it's not looking good for me. Because I won't be able to succeed in this versus last time. Deployed more units. I had more units over there, so I deployed some more of them. They took our capital. What? Peace. I accept. Where's DC? I can't even tell. What? They actually pushed from the south. They actually crossed the river. The Potomac River, I think. Not the Potomac River. I'm confusing myself now. Whatever river that is, I completely forgot. I lived there nearby there. What's going on? I don't remember. Screw it. I'm sick and everything. But they pushed across the river and took Glass Manor, Clinton, and Sweetland. And actually, you know, from the south, just shot up straight into DC there, as you can see. So <laughs> I didn't I didn't pay attention across the river there. Oh, that's it. Wait, peace? But they accepted my peace offer. So, how does, how does this work? There's peace. My capital city is still Washington. This has never happened before, guys. This is the first time this has ever happened on video. Um, increased spending request for capital has fallen. Population war wary. Be warned that our population has grown wary of a continuous state of war. It is now affecting the domestic food rating. But I just started this war. Or they just started this war. I don't even know. Um, Alright, let's see what happens. Um, will they actually annex all of me? The entire American Union? Is this it? Will the Confederacy actually annex me? Without a capital city? Oh, come on! Really? Really? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Okay, but uh, in these turn of events, everything has changed now. The borders have changed dramatically, as you can see. So let's give this overview right now. Uh, again, the Confederacy has annexed Washington, D.C. and most of the southern and central U.S. Population has grown. Land has grown. Um, I do not exist, of course. Not anymore. Uh, Canada, though, even though these nations weren't at war, you know, Canada, uh, Mexico, even the United Kingdom, I don't know how they got in there, especially. Uh, Canada has annexed most of the central and northern U.S., as you can see, so their population has grown as well. Let me just resume this real quick. Maybe they'll change the population numbers there. But still, the U.K., that doesn't make sense. I know I'm the only ally that I had before was with the United Kingdom. But it looks like the UK took New York City, Boston, New York, all those major uh, cities in the East Coast there. And also in the West Coast, as you can see, LA, San Francisco, Portland, Seattle. They also took 
most of the west coast so the uk takes the west coast and part of the east coast of the union and then after mexico it looks like they only took uh some small parts of southern california including san diego and uh, chula vista and whatnot wow what a turn of events this is quite a surreal sight i have never seen this happen ever in Supremo 2020 guys and any of the Supremo games this is the first time okay they took my capital city I accepted their peace treaty and then the Confederacy <laughs> my enemy Canada the UK and Mexico four say it four nations took parts of the Union <laughs> of my country what in the world and also I forgot to mention this uh, you know, Alaska, Hawaii, they're part of the Ocean Federation, or Independent Federation. And, uh, yeah, it's a new nation for them there. Enemies, Australia, Canada, Russia, I don't know how they're enemies with them. But, hey. And then as for uh, Western China, as you can see, uh, it doesn't exist here in the game, in this mod, for some reason. Only Eastern China does, so their population is quite down and whatnot. Oh, they're at war with Japan, Korea. There's a war going on around the world right now. India, Pakistan. Uh, Israel, as you can see, has annexed Syria and Lebanon. And is about to annex Iraq as well. I mean, I could keep going on and on and just narrate this video. You know, I've still got like nine minutes left in this video. Serbia, well, Kosovo, Macedonia have already about, are about to fall to Serbia. Hungary is about to fall to, or not Hungary, Slovakia is about to fall, as you can see. And France and Italy, major European powers are going at each other's throat right now. Andorra also doesn't exist in this. And uh, there goes Kosovo, they are eliminated as I said. So yeah, quite some weird borders and wars going on right now in this mod. Yeah, this is why I like this mod. The uh, Confederate States and the OWN mod I think also. Since they include the... Uh, the reenactment of the Civil War in the modern times. But as you can see, you know, the whole world has changed right now. Especially North America. <laughs> Canada, 81.6 million. 11.5 kilometers of land. Uh, Russia's still bigger. GDP, 42,000. UK, staggering 143 million people now. 1.2 million in kilometers in land. GDP. 31,000 and as for Mexico uh, 11,000 population 112 not that much of a change there but yes the whole world has been changed guys and uh, <laughs> eh, not so bad 36,000 GDP for the Confederacy I just like looking at the weird borders right now for my British viewers hey at least you get to have, you know, a part of the East Coast and most of the Western Coast of the U.S. or Union, I should say. It's pretty weird, you know. British ships are now over here in, uh, in the former U.S. I wonder what's going to happen here, though. The U.K. is also at war with Argentina. There's, again, a lot of wars going on right now around the world. And I think that's about it to show... Serbia is mostly at war with all the, uh, what is it, the uh, Balkan nations there. Balkan nations. Yeah. Yeah. I'm confusing myself right now. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> I'm thinking about the Baltics. That's over there. Estonia and whatnot. The Baltics. Yeah, okay. So it's the, uh, the Balkans. I don't know why I'm still keep I'm still recording this video. I'm just trying to show you guys what's going on right now. And uh, let's just see Iraq fall. You know what? Never mind. They just added a garrison. I don't want to see that anymore. Maybe I should. Let's just see in anticipation. Besides, that garrison's gone. One more BTR-94 for Iraq, and Israel has captured another Middle Eastern country, and now they have, you know. Become basically their own little superpower over there in the Middle East and are competing against now Iran. Their sworn enemy. So, yeah, they're gonna go to war and they're retreating missiles over there. 
So good luck to them there. All right, so I think that's about it, guys. Uh, nothing else to show. Vietnam, oh, Thailand, also included there. Hong Kong is also not present <laughs> for some reason. But that's about it, guys. Uh, I am eliminated. A loss is a loss. UK, Canada, the Confederacy, Mexico all take a chunk of me. It's weird that the UK takes a very huge chunk, though. I wasn't expecting that. But I'm glad that I recorded this and made this video. Patron contest, you know, again, Devil May Cry. You can join that. Link below to my patron website. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be heading from New York City and I'll be taking a bunch of pictures for Patreon and Instagram as well. As always, the board gamers, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time.